Okay, next under the adjust category, let's take a look at S invert. Um, S invert inverts, your, inverts the color and luma values in your image. This is very similar to the color effect um, in your effect palette here under the image category, color effect. You can um, invert your image with that as well. But the reason why I want to point this out is that if you've got Sapphire installed in your system, you're probably going to want to start using S invert because you've got a lot more control over the way it inverts your image. So let's just take a look at what's happening here. Um, let's go ahead and add an edit here in our clip. Add a couple edits here. And I'm just going to alt drag this S invert on top. Or if you're using a Mac, option drag. Now you can see it's inverted the colors in the image. Go into my effect mode. And you can see now you've got a lot more control. Not only can you invert the luma and chroma values, which you can do with the avid color effect, but I have the added option of being able to invert the red values, the green values, the blue values, or even the alpha. So you can create different kinds of looks um, with this S invert using the sapphire invert one. So I'm going to just for demonstration's sake, just invert uh, the luma values in the red. And um, we can also play with scale lights and darks here as well, just like you can with the color effect. Okay, I like the way that looks. Change our satura saturation. Okay, awesome. And let's go ahead and do the same thing that we were doing before. We'll just add a couple edits in here, stylize this a bit. Okay. Right. This is going to be super flashly, super flashy. Okay, let's see how that looks. Got our quad tone in there. Not ready. And let's do one more right here. We'll do like, yeah. I'm just going to grab this invert from here and I'm going to drag it over to here. Alt drag or option drag if you're on the Mac to stack the effects. All right. And let's just do a let's do a single frame invert. Good flash effect. Okay. And I'll just delete it from here and delete it from here. And on this last one, let's change the way this one looks. Let's invert chroma as well and get more of the traditional looking invert. And let's really bump up our lights, make it really flash. And you create a really cool effect doing that. Let's scale our lights here. And maybe we'll invert the blue and the green. It's kind of a cool look. All right. Let's see how that looks now. Let's play it back. Playing back in real time, none of this has been rendered. And that looked really great. I just trimmed the last bit of this clip off of here. So it's sort of like a transition. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Love that. Put some music, some sound effects in there. And that's going to look really sexy. I want to also give honorable mention to uh, S Monochrome here uh, because, again, you can use image color effect or even color correction in your effect palette to make a monochromatic image. Um, however, S Monochrome gives you a lot more control. So um, S Monochrome is probably going to be your go-to from here on out after watching this, be just because it looks so much nicer than the effect that you would get if you use the color effect in the effect palette, the traditional Avid effect. So um, let's go ahead and just look at this clip right here. I'm gonna take my hue, saturation, brightness from before and drop that on there. Um, that looks very nice. And now let's go to S Monochrome. I'm going to Alt drag or Option drag that on top to stack the effect. And now I've got a monochromatic image. Um, going into the effect palette now, you can see why this is different and why this is better. Because not only are we getting a monochromatic image, but we can also change the values given to the, the way the, um, the image is made monochromatic based on the color values 
the red, green, and blue values in the source footage. So I can create a different look by changing the weight for the blue and the red and the green. And let's just compare how this looks to the color effect in the Avid Effect palette. The color effect looks fine for creating a monochromatic image, but it's not going to look as nice the saturation all the way down it's not going to be as nice as it would be with the s monochrome because you can change the kind of monochromatic image that you have you see how the the values are changing you can create different kinds of looks so i'm going to go into this one you know maybe i don't like this i'll just bump up the red and i'll take the green way down and take the blue way down and now you can see you've created a completely different kind of monochrome image that highlights more of the clouds. You just got a lot more flexibility.